Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and we are currently in Ahmed, Bali. We have been here for about two weeks now and the last time I vlogged was on October 2nd. It is now October 12th. So I've not filmed anything for 10 days and I thought I would film today and tomorrow to kind of give you an idea and also for me to document what I've been doing whilst in Ahmed so I don't forget in like a year's time. So I'm gonna to film today and tomorrow and we have typically done one of two things. So today's gonna to be a work day where we go to a cafe sit and work for maybe four to six hours, have some lunch there, chill out kind of thing. So that's going to be today and then we'll snorkel this evening, this afternoon when we get home between like four and six. And then tomorrow is going to be a chill day where we basically lay on the beach, do some snorkeling, have a snooze, do some snorkeling, have lunch, do some snorkeling and oh, sorry if you can hear the baby crying. Um, so I'm going to film today and tomorrow just to kind of show you what we've been doing. We've honestly just been loving it here. We booked in 10 days and then extended another seven days because we really enjoyed it. We did think about staying more, but we do want to go back to different parts of Bali and kind of go back to places we've already been to that we enjoyed as well. But would highly, highly recommend Ahmed, especially if you enjoy snorkeling. It has been paradise. One thing I will say is that the UV index gets to like 14, which I think is extreme. So you definitely need sun cream. Definitely don't be out in the middle of the day without it. We did burn on the like first or second day we got here, but we've been very careful since then. Um, but yeah, we've absolutely loved it. I'm gonna pop on screen some of the fish that we have been seeing. So when we see them, we go on Google and try and find the exact fish that it's called. Take a screenshot just so I can remember. Some of my favorites have been the Harlequin Sweet Lips, Juvenile, that one's awesome. Um, we've seen eels, we've seen titan triggerfish, we have seen a sea cucumber, what else exciting things, we saw lobster yesterday, we've just been seeing so many cool things and it's been really really fun. Jeremy's amazing at spotting things, I'm, I, I tend to spot like, I spotted the cucumber, um, I tend to spot the clams or the nice corals, things like that, Jeremy tends to spot the eels and, because he hates snakes, so he's like, highly vigilant so he spots the eels he also spotted these um, harlequin sweet lips and the nice thing is that most of these fish have their own little home and their own little space and because we're literally on the beach where the coral reef is we can just pop in and see the same fish every day so since we saw the harlequin sweet lips every time we go in we go and check on it and make sure it's still there make sure it's all right and then same with the sea cucumber we go in every day it's kind of in the same area it does tend to move overnight um, but we found it every day since we saw it the first time, probably eight days ago, something like that. So it's really nice to kind of familiarize yourself with the fish and with the like the locals almost. It's really, really nice. Um, before I start today as well, yesterday we went paddle boarding, which we loved. I did do a little reels, I'll pop it on the side here so you can see. Um, but we used to paddle board loads in Miami, so it was really nice to kind of get back on there. It was a little bit lighter, so the one we had in Miami was really thick and really sturdy, and it was really hard to fall off, if you know what I mean, like it was really steady. This one was quite thin and quite light, so we did kind of have a couple of wobbles where we thought we were going to fall in, but we didn't, luckily. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoyed that as well. You can rent that for 100000 for an hour, so that was about six euros for an hour, something like that, which was really fun. We, we really enjoyed it, would highly recommend Anyway, um, I have just brushed my teeth this morning. We've just ordered breakfast. So for breakfast, we get a banana pancake and a fruit salad. Every day we've had that, <laughs> which has been really good. So I'm gonna go outside and enjoy that and I'll show you as well. So this is the table outside our room. We just got our towels drying from yesterday. This is where we're gonna have our breakfast. There's the restaurant and then you can see the water over there. So we are honestly like so, so close to the water and all the fish. It's been amazing. And there's the paddle boards obviously as well. So this is breakfast. Jeremy's put um, honey on his already and folded it up. And then they do always give us two of these and we tend to just share one because otherwise it is a lot of honey, but this is usually delicious. And then we've also ordered a fruit plate which should be coming soon. Okay, then this is today's fruit bowl. We've got some watermelon, some papaya and a piece of banana. Jeremy's gonna have my banana. Um, but we do sometimes have pineapple. Um, is there anything else we've had? No, it's just those four, isn't it? Pineapple, papaya, watermelon and Banana. Delicious. I don't know if I've told you guys, but papaya is our new favourite. It used to be mango, but then recently we've been getting mangoes that we don't love. Whereas papaya is just always good. This is like our now ultimate tropical fruit, the one that we love, isn't it? The one we get the most and things. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay, so I'm back inside. Um, it's quarter past 11. I'm just gonna start getting ready for going to the cafe to work. I'm gonna pop on some sun cream. This is what I've been using. It's just the Nivea Protected Moisture 50 plus PA SPF stuff. Um, I'm gonna put this on. And I thought I'd talk to you about the fact that I started watching Big Brother. So I used to watch Big Brother when I was like a teenager maybe, when I was a kid, I don't even remember. And it's back on, in England, on ITV. And it started a couple of days ago and I love it. There's some really interesting characters, but I really think I'm gonna enjoy it because I think they're gonna have tasks and secret missions and all that sort of thing that I used to really enjoy watching. And I think it's also interesting to see like different people from the country like try and live together and you have like the different religions different ages different genders different backgrounds and it's just interesting to see how people connect and like some of the people you wouldn't really put together are getting on really well there's a guy called jordan and the welsh girl i can't remember her name but like i had no idea they would be friends like you would not have put them together but they're getting on really well and it's just really interesting so yeah it's gonna be interesting to watch that i think i'm actually really excited for it so that's really cool Anyway, I've now just got to pack my bag for going to get some work done. I thought I'd also talk to you a little bit today about the work that I do because I think sometimes people think that we're just on holiday and that we're not actually working. So maybe when we're at the cafe, depending on how loud it is, it does get busy. Or at some point I'll talk to you about kind of the different work I do and how I earn money. But first things first is to get packed and also get dressed. The things I take with me is obviously laptop, charger, iPad, hard drive, sunglasses and water money, bank card, whatever. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. And that should be good for the next couple of hours for getting some work done. I also wear my big kind of travel hat, my, um, I don't know where it is, I'll have to find it. But um, my like Dora the Explorer hat, I call it, cause it's like a hiking hat, but especially it's now, like I said, quarter past 11, by the time we get going, it'll be like half 11. So the sun is gonna be really, really strong. So I'll wear my big like adventure hat. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna pack my bags and I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, so we are ready to go. I've put on some of my earrings. I don't wear these every day, but I bought these in Georgetown, if you saw the vlogs from there. And this is the hat that I put on <laughs> to protect my face. I know it looks a little bit silly, but at least I'm kind of protected. And then also because it's like a 10, 15 minute walk, by the time we get there, we are usually like drenched in sweat and absolutely dripping. But anyway, I'll show you a little bit along the way. Okay, so we're on the way and we're going to Rimba Cafe. We have been to a couple of different places. We've been to See You Again Cafe, which had amazing views, but I did get distracted by the views and also I felt really ill that day, so I ended up leaving after like an hour or two, which is a shame. The second place we have been to to work is called Nat Nat and it's a Thai place. That was nice, the food was really, really good. Um, a little bit hot, but it was nice. It was, you know, it was not bad. The third place we have been to is called Warung. Iraq. Um, I really don't remember the food that we had. I don't even remember the place to be honest, so nothing memorable. But our favourite place has been Rumba because it's actually a really beautiful cafe. The food is a little bit expensive, but it's great. Internet is good. Um, it's nice and cool if you sit by the window. There are also fans as well. So Rumba has by far been our favourite place to go and work. So we're going back there today again. So this is the main road in Ahmed. There's some of these. Um, religious statues, there's some fruit for sale, there's lots of kind of laundry, tourism, shuttle buses, scuba diving trips, hiking trips, but this is the main road, there's no like highway, there's no motorway, it's this, and as you can see it's not super wide for like two cars, so it can get blocked up a little bit sometimes, um, and the cafe that we're going to is just next to that white sign there. There's also a lot of French diving school, like La Plage, and there's lots of other ones because there's loads of French people here, there's loads of French tourists. And then we are going to Rimba, which is where this ice cream is. So it's taken us about 20 minutes to walk here from the hotel that we're staying at. This is a quick look at the menu, but we're going to go through here. seating out here but we always tend to go in this green one because it's prettier really <laughs> and so this is the cafe space i showed you last time we were here but there's these kind of um high chair seating there's different types of like comfy seats there's the bar we're gonna sit over there and then there's like a sunken sofa here 
and more seating so it's really really beautiful if you put your own wide angle so you can see a little bit more but it's super pretty okay so we have made it to rimba the first thing i'm going to do is get my ipad and write down my to-do list so i work with four different clients there's warrior flow which is jeremy's company and i create content for them they're also branching out and doing a conference so i need to do logo and branding and things for that and then i work with three different women with their social media so for one of them i am a youtube manager and then for the other two i create content for instagram so i kind of need to write down the tasks that i need to do today and the things that need to get done um, and then I'm just going to go through them in terms of like what I think is the priority in terms of what's coming up and what I need to get done. So I don't know how much I've able to vlog, but um, yes, yeah, so that's the first job is to write down my to-do list. Okay, I've written my to-do list. I've got 14 things that I need to get on with. I've also got YouTube editing to do. This is kind of things not to do with me. I've also got obviously videos with YouTube to edit. I could also create reels. I've also got things on my side, but I'm going to crack on with some of this today because I'm ahead with my YouTube. So let's get started. Okay, so it's half three. We have ordered lunch and it's just arrived. Jeremy got a beef burger and some fries and I got a pumpkin salad with feta cheese, baby spinach and cranberries and seeds and things. I'm gonna, so that should be delicious. We're gonna enjoy that now. We have been working hard, getting lots and lots of things done. I feel like when you spend hours looking at the computer, your eyes go a little bit funny. Um, but I think we'll probably work for like another hour or so and then we'll go snorkeling this afternoon. So Jeremy's just gone to wash his hands. He's finished his burger. Quick update, the salad is delicious. I had a salad the other day and it was really disappointing. I was saying to Jeremy, it's so like, when you get a good salad, it is so good, it's so worth it. And when you get a bad one, it is so disappointing, but this has been really, really good. And actually all the food we've had here in Rimba has been really good. We've had a panini, we've had a tuna bowl, we've had obviously salad, Jeremy's got his burger, so it was really good. Um, we've had a few other things I can't remember. The cakes here are insane as well. I had a chocolate caramel tart the other day, delicious. Also tried the Snickers bar, delicious. So like they also do ice creams as well. So all the food here has been so, so good. Would highly recommend. I had an iced tea the other day, the peach one. Wouldn't recommend that. It was really too sweet for me. We've been getting kombucha. That's been really good. So yeah, it's just like such good quality food. So delicious and would highly, highly recommend coming to Rimba if you're ever in Ahmed. Okay, so it is now 4.30. We have just finished at Rimba. We arrived at 12, so we worked about four and a half hours. Obviously we stopped a little while to get some work, to eat lunch, sorry, as well. So probably about four hours I've been working. There's cars coming, so one second. Okay, so like I was saying, worked about four hours. We're there for four and a half hours. Obviously we did stop to eat lunch. I only ended up getting four of my 14 tasks done, but they were big jobs. Like one of them was to create four carousels for one of the women that I'm working with. One of them was to create some more templates. One of them was to do with the logo design. The sun's a little bit in the way. Um, so yeah, I did get some good work done. Obviously still got lots and lots to do. But we are now walking back. I'm going to go for a little snorkel. Jeremy's not feeling very well today, so I don't think he's going to bother today. But I might as well go in for a little hour swim around. It's nice to see some of the fish that we've been kind of looking at this past 10 days and go check they're still there and go and see them. So I'll be letting you know when we do that and I'll take the GoPro as well so I can show you. But yeah, just walking back to the hotel again now. Okay, so the main road is up here. I forgot to show you, but basically we come down here. There's these beautiful gardens and we come this way and i'm going to show you where we're staying because we are literally on the beach so through here i think i showed you this in the last vlog as well so you might have seen this already but anyway i'll show you again so go down here and then our bedroom is literally here so that's the kitchen where they make all our food <laughs> jeremy's found a doggy there's like three or four dogs that live here so that's our room that's where we had the breakfast this morning. And then if you come down here, there is the restaurant on the right hand side, which is where we eat most nights. And then the beach is down there. So we have access to the sunbeds. If you want to use a paddleboard, it's 100,000 per hour. And if you want to use a mask and snorkel, I think it's 50,000. So yeah, this is where we are, that's where we're staying. So I'm gonna put on my bikini and go for a swim. Right, I've quickly changed into my bikini. I've got my GoPro, I've got my mask and snorkel. So I'm gonna go and set up my chair on the beach. I think Jeremy's just gonna sit and chill rather than come for a swim today. But I do have the GoPro to be able to show you some of my favorite um, fish in the sea. I might also include some footage from some of the previous days snorkeling because we have been seeing some really cool stuff that I'm not guaranteed to see tonight. But um, I will be showing you what to see tonight as well. So let's go and have a look. 
Okay, so this is our beach. This place is really good for sunset. We haven't been because you have to have a minimum spend of about seven or eight euros per person. We might go at some point, but we haven't so far. The Sea Again Cafe where we worked one day is there. We've also been there one night for dinner. I think they do live music on a Friday night. Um, this is our hotel, so there's Jeremy, and my seat's gonna be there, and we're staying literally just behind those paddle boards. And then the sun obviously is setting, so it's gonna be getting dark soon, but this is our beach. And the coral reef is basically all the way here, and it goes all the way along there. It's absolutely huge, so let's go and dive in. And actually, before I dive in, something that's like annoying about being here, but sounds so stupid to say, is that because we're like snorkeling every single day, my hair has been getting so wrecked. So like I'm washing it like twice, every two days basically, because it gets so dry and crispy with the salt water. And obviously I don't want to wash it every single day. So I just do rinse it out once I've been snorkeling, but it does just mean that my hair is like not been in the best condition. But anyway, let's go for a swim. so <laughs> it's been an eventful evening to say the least um we were laying on the beach and i was about to come inside just as i was literally holding my things about to walk off Jeremy went, oh my god and i looked over and there was a a ship like a boat not a ship a boat was like nose dive like this and then started sinking so like i was like oh my god quickly grabbed my phone and managed to catch like the the last little seconds of the bit going under that we watched all the people jumping out this boat's just sank. Oh, shit. Oh my God. <gasps> okay, so the boat just sank over there where that group of people is in the water and they're sending over a different boat, I guess, to go and rescue them. I mean, they're not far from the shore. They could definitely swim. Oh, look, they're sending like rescue things. One minute. So they're now sorting out different boats and things to go. They've got rope. All the locals are gathering together to try and help. So we're all going. And then, so we basically spent an hour on the beach watching them try and rescue this boat. And I was thinking, there's no way they're gonna be able to get that because apparently what they were doing, Jeremy was watching them for a while. I think also yesterday, they were trying to get a piece of concrete from the floor and move it. So they were, they had the they had it attached to the boat and then obviously when they got too deep that must have pulled the boat down so we saw it like nose dive and everyone jumping out it was a bit like titanic <laughs> but small like a obviously small version it was sinking sinking and then it went underwater and i basically got lots of videos i was kind of filming the whole thing just expecting it not to come back up again so i don't know what's going on but it is getting dark so they've not got much time left in terms of like daylight are they gonna try and pull it i don't know Okay, so we've not seen anyone on this blue boat for um, the last like 10 days since we've been here. This one's coming to help. I think this one is either coming to help or it just happens to be, yeah, there's two coming. I bet they're coming to help as well, maybe, let's see, but, oh my goodness. But 
it was a real testament to community and everyone rallying around together and helping each other because people ran to their boats and like loads of boats were like going to help them and they managed to rescue the boat like what i've never seen a boat sink in front of my eyes i've no i never thought they would be able to rescue it and bring it back up to the surface okay they've got some of the boat up from the bottom you can see there that's a piece of um bamboo from the sides i think they've got the front of the boat or something the arch, the arch like the the arms bit basically they also cheered when this bit came up it's getting darker so there's a guy swimming this bit of bamboo back to shore you can just about see his head and a piece of bamboo and then these people they're still i don't know what they're doing they just chucked rope in so maybe they're hoping to rescue other bits of it i'm not sure but so this boat has just arrived after dropping some people off these people and i think they're going to jump on and go and help in the water okay little update they've rescued a part of the boat that you can see them kind of carrying so the blue boat came and dropped some rope in the water and they've attached it to there so i think they're going to try and pull it to shore so you can see them coming out of the water pulling something with them so I went right down to the beach to see them close up as they were pulling the boat out of the water. It got quite dark, so I'm going to pop all of this video in so you can see it, but um, crazy. It's amazing what communities can do when they really kind of band together and help each other. So, Okay, I've come to have a closer look and they managed to save the boat. That is crazy. I did not expect that. So that's the two bamboo bits there and there's the actual boat. They've now got to try and pull it out and empty the water, I guess. So they're now going to pull the boat out. What a team effort, bloody hell. That's crazy. There is carrying the engine and they've got to empty the water before they can pull it in because it's obviously heavy with full of water. So there's people on the shore here. I know it's super dark. And people are pulling the boat in or out out of the water on the shore. <laughs> yeah in a weird way it was really cool seeing that <laughs> like obviously i wish it hadn't happened because they're gonna need a new motor i'm sure it was expensive and it was a faff to try and get everyone you know to get the boat out but it was amazing to see everyone come together and help everyone and get it sorted so it's been quite an eventful evening. Um, tonight, I'm now gonna just quickly wash my hair, just put some water through it. I'm not gonna actually wash it because I washed it yesterday. And like I said, I'm washing it on like an almost daily basis, which is a lot. I'm not gonna order too much for dinner. There's only two rooms here. There's us and there's the room next door, but there's no one in the room next door tonight. So if we didn't want food, the woman that's working here could go home. But I think we're gonna order, I think Jeremy wants an orange juice. I'm either gonna get a juice or an iced tea, which has been really good here. And I think I might order something just like chips or I don't know something easy just to like fill my tummy but not like a whole meal so I'm going to quickly rinse 
get some food and I'll show you what we end up ordering but tonight's just gonna be a chill one especially because Jeremy doesn't feel very well but um yeah crazy night did not expect that okay so I'm showered hence the wet hair I've just ordered dinner well, I ordered it five ten minutes ago it's just arrived I got an iced lemon tea which is delicious so so good and then I also got a cheese tomato and egg sandwich so I'm gonna eat that now watching some YouTube and just chilling out. So I just treated myself and asked for some chocolate ice cream, thinking it would be like one scoop in a cone, but it's actually three pretty big scoops. So I'm gonna enjoy this as well. Good morning, everyone. It's the very next day. Yeah, last night was eventful. Obviously the boat sank and we watched that and then it got recovered. Um, I had some dinner, I had that ice cream and that sandwich. Me and Jeremy then started watching Severance. We watched the first three episodes and I actually really enjoy it. It's a little bit creepy, a little bit weird, a little bit probably controversial, but I think so far it's intrigued me um, and I definitely want to watch more. And we went to bed at like midnight because Jeremy's not feeling too well. Midnight is early for us, by the way. We typically go like in bed at 12, asleep by one or two, something like that. So being asleep by midnight was early for us. And then I woke up at half past two with a really sore tummy feeling really really sick so I went to the toilet was sat on the toilet for like an hour basically I was either on the toilet or on the floor because I felt like I couldn't leave the bathroom because I thought I was gonna need the toilet again so I was kind of on the bathroom on the floor on the on the toilet on the floor on the toilet on the floor um Jeremy came to check in on me and I was just like I can't make it to the bed it's too far so he went back to bed and was like okay um eventually I did go back to bed I think about half three something like that and then slept and I was fine again woken up this morning with a bit of a sore tummy again but I'm okay and I realized last night it was having three scoops of ice cream because there's nothing else that would have made me ill and I forget like I can have a magnum for example for some reason that ice cream is fine but if I have yogurt or maybe this was like homemade ice cream that wasn't pasteurized or I don't know all the technical ways of making ice cream, but something, I think it was the dairy that made me ill. So that was not fun. Um, anyway, we've woken up today, woke up about nine. It's now about 10 a.m. We usually spend like an hour in bed just like chatting or hanging out or reading messages or whatever else. So the plan today was to have a day off anyway, because today is Friday and we're leaving here on Tuesday. So we've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We've got four full days left until we leave. So we kind of want to make the most of it and make the most of scuba diving, not scuba diving, snorkeling and kind of hanging out at the beach because we've really enjoyed it here. Also, Jeremy's not feeling well. He said he's feeling better than yesterday, but not 100%. So he was like, I don't want to walk 20 minutes to a cafe, be like sweating and dying, and then sit with AC, even though it's not AC, there's not much AC here. But, you know, you get a point and then walk in 20 minutes and then go in the water. And also the water can be like hot and cold, hot and cold, depending on which patch you're in. And I also feel like if you get out when it's windy, it can be a little bit cold, but then it's also boiling. So I, I think he just wants to kind of hang out today, probably watch some more severance probably stay in bed and watch some YouTube and Netflix and whatever else. So he's having a bit of an off day. It's funny, so even though I have snorkeled a lot and I've scuba dived a lot, um, I still get nervous snorkeling on my own. So like yesterday when I saw the lobster, I was a little bit scared of, like on my own. I don't actually know how much I will snorkel today because Jeremy's not gonna be next to me and I always want him there, especially because there's this Titan triggerfish as well, they are big boys. And they bite and they're scary so yeah i think we're gonna have just a bit of a chill day today so i'm gonna start off by watching big brother this morning catch up on what's been going on yesterday um probably gonna order some breakfast soon probably going to get some work done at some point probably gonna have a snooze because i'm tired from not sleeping all night so it's gonna be a super chill one so i've no idea how much i'm actually gonna film today but i'll be able to show you little bits here and there might not be super exciting um, I'd also like to buy some salt from here. So Ahmed is known for salt production. It's not, I don't think it's known for actually, that's a bit of a lie, but there is salt production here. And I think basically they take salt from the sea, from the water, and they put it in like bamboo chopped in half. So it's almost like a tray. They put the water in there and then leave it for, I don't know how long until the water evaporates and you're left with salt. So I've never seen, is that a lie? I don't think I've ever seen salt production. But I think in Europe or places where I might have seen it, it's like a huge, you know, like a big salt flat where it's a huge field and the whole thing is like that. So it's interesting to see how they do it here on the island with like bamboo chopped in half. So 
So I will have put some videos on screen for you to see that. But my sister-in-law is a chef and I asked her the other day if she wants some salt, so if she likes salt, like different salts from different places, and she said yes please. So I'm gonna get her a bag of salt for Christmas. I might also get my mum some. I think she'd probably appreciate that. Um, so I would like to do that at some point this weekend before we leave on Tuesday. And there was something else. Yeah, I want to go and get some papaya as well because I've been really enjoying papaya here. So I think I'm gonna go and get one today for the weekend. But yeah, it's gonna be a chill day and I'll try and show you as much as possible without making it super boring. <laughs> so first thing is to get some breakfast and watch some Big Brother. Okay guys, it's a bit windy, but I watched Big Brother um, and we've just been hanging out. It's now about midday. I'm gonna go for a swim. Um, it's gonna be hot, so I don't wanna stay out too long and burn myself, but Jeremy's staying out of the water today because he's not feeling too well. But um, I'm gonna take my GoPro and see what I can find and I'll show you whatever goodness I can see in there. currently 6 30 and today has just ran away with me i have obviously today's my day off so i've not been working which means i've also not been vlogging which has not been great for you guys but i quickly run down so i did talk to you this morning when i had breakfast i don't think i showed you breakfast but it was the same as yesterday it was a banana pancake with a plate of fruit um i then went snorkeling and i saw a crown of thorns which is basically a sea star it can have like 10 legs or something and it's almost like a blue skin with orange spikes all over it. So I was really happy to see that. I went to show Jeremy and I was like, oh my God, I just saw something really exciting. He's like, was it a shark? No. Was it a turtle? No. What else did you think it was? I don't remember. Manta ray. Oh, manta ray. I was like, okay, it wasn't that exciting. <laughs> and then I told him what I'd seen. He was like, okay. I was like, no, this is really cool. And he was like, I don't care. So that was fun. Um, also saw the lobster from yesterday, or just saw the white thing sticking out of the rock. I went and saw my sea cucumber, as I do like usual every day. Um, and then we kind of hung out a little bit, had lunch. I completely forgot to vlog that as well. I had noodles with tempeh, it's my favourite meal here. Jeremy had some like soup dish, he thought it was going to be a stir fry. It turned out to be like a soup and rice. Didn't film that either, I was absolutely used to it, I'm so sorry. We then came back into the room at about 4, 4.30, something like that. Watched two episodes of Severance. It's getting a bit weird. I don't fully understand what's going on. So we watched that. I then had a bit of a snooze for an hour. It's now half six. So we're going to have a quick walk and then we're going to go up to, what's the cafe called? Oh, Jolie Best View. Yeah, we're going up to Jolie Best View and they have music there on a Friday starting at 7 p.m. So we're going to have a quick walk around and then go up there for music. Um, so I'll be able to show you some of that. I'll also try and show you dinner, although I'm not hungry at all because I had lunch at like three. Um, but I'll show you what we end up eating anyway or drinking, whatever it is. I'll show you some of the music. And then tonight I've got a call with somebody who booked on to be my client last week. So this is my first kind of call, like organizing the month. And I've got to show the designs I've been doing and kind of talk to her about that. So that's really exciting as well. It's gonna be 11 p.m. my time, but she's in California, so it's 8 a.m. for her. So she's it's early for her and it's late for me, but it's kind of the best time of day to do it. Anyway, I apologize for this vlog being absolutely shite. <laughs> Please stick around. There's probably gonna be some nice music in a minute. I'll be able to show you some of that without being, hopefully without being demonetized, right? That should be fine. Um, but yeah, let's go out for a walk and get some food. Tonight's outfit is my short legging style things. I got these from Aerie a couple of years ago when I was in Miami 
and a t-shirt from H&M. So I've gone super comfy tonight. So I'm hoping we can sit on the floor and get kind of comfy rather than sitting on an actual seat. And I still have a sore tummy from eating ice cream last night. So I'm not particularly in the mood to like get dressed up or wear anything uncomfortable. So this is what Jeremy's going to have to put up with tonight. Well, we missed sunset. Jeremy's done 900 steps today and we've missed sunset, but never mind. This is the boat that sank yesterday. I should have shown you this during the day, really, but. Oh, there's the wooden bit. Oh dear. Bit of friends, one. 